Kenny Ken, you know what? You said a few weeks ago mm. when yes. um, when Unai Emery was there, you said, listen, everyone's having a go at Unai Emery, Unai Emery. everyone's blaming him, but you know what? The players, told they you. ain't good enough. I told you. And told you that last season. I told you that before. It's a trouble with our Arsenal fans. Finally, the scales are falling out of all your eyes. I told you this at the end of the season when we lost, when we drew with Brighton, not, that we needed a whole f wholesale changes. Oh no, no, no! We've got the best forward line in the, in world football, and that it's on the par with Liverpool. Yeah, I told you, didn't I? When are people going to learn, right? That it doesn't matter who you get in, that these players are not good enough. Good to get into the Champions League, they're not good enough to win the league. They are, we are where we should be. This is where we should be. This is our level. Even when we were in the Champions League in 2016 and 2017, we were a Europa League team. We, I was telling you for f f six years ago, if we if we go on like this and be complacent and feel entitled that we're some big club without making the chances, we won't make any changes, this will happen. This has been a work in progress, and now. This is what happens. But Where even with the, even with, you'd say, all right, you, you know, obviously, especially at the back, mm. there's serious deficiencies, right? No, it's not. It's but, not but, no, 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 I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying. you one thing. You talk about the back. It doesn't matter whether you have. You could have Virgil Van Dijk there and Lewis Dunk together. It's how you defend as a team. So that's what I was going to go. Come, come, that's what I was going to go on and say, right? The, you know, the manager who's in place, which is now Freddie. Mm. They, are, they, are they organising these players in the right way to be able to at least defend? I mean, I've, I've seen worse players yeah, in the some, Premier some, League some, and, some, and they can defend as a some, unit, some, like you said. Right. You, you, you're a, you, you run an organisation, right? You must have some people in your organisation. Now, how many times you tell them, whether you shout at them or you're patient, sometimes you just can't do it. Some players can't retain information. You can draw them a picture. You know, this is the common denominator. We are the worst team without the ball. We were bad against uh, with Arsene. We thought Unai would change it. We haven't knew it. Freddie, and the, let me tell you the reason why Pepe, Ozil, Lacazette and Aubameyang can't play. It's because of the things you just said. Being crap without the ball and not defending as a team. It would be suicide to play all those four. doesn't matter where, 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 how Pepe looked in the second half. What happened after that 20 minute lull? when Bright Brighton regained control of the match with the four up front. They started finding those little play, um, spaces, the little through ball, proper, best player in the field. You would have thought he was an Arsenal player rather than Brighton. Finding little, nice little spaces, putting it through balls. Mupe, Connolly, Moy were roasting us. All, be, all simple ball. It's because we're not good at Marking those spaces. I said that against Tottenham the first half. So what, when what, what needs to change going again? Complete and utter clear out. Get a new manager in and I, I, and identify it and give him money to change it all. These players are not fit for the purpose. From t from one to eleven, they are not good enough. Stop and kidding yourself. Meza Ozil was brought into this team to try and make a difference. He has made that much difference. See that little space between one finger? That much difference. I told you, Robbie. I told all you all you guys who were trolling me about Mesut Ozil and impact. No impact whatsoever. A struggling team, this guy has got the heart of a has got a heart of a mouse. What and um, what manager would you like to see come in? I want Rafa Benitez in because he knows this league inside out. Stop going, not I'm sorry. He's won a Champions League for God's sake. He won the La Liga title in a, in a league with Real Madrid and Barcelona. This guy knows this league inside out and he will identify players and get and get us changing things almost immediately. Look what he did at Newcastle with that shit team. That team should have been playing in the in the third tier, let alone the premiership. And he but he, he kept he kept him respectful. Know your level. We are where we should be. We are not a top team. And people should stop kidding themselves, Robbie. I'm sorry. I told you so.